And in this clip, you see Anthony Pompliano telling you why you need Bitcoin right now. Don't skip this. Watch this clip. Policy. We're going to get the halving next year, and this thing is going to fly just like it did back in 2021. I love the volatility. I want more volatility. And the reason is because volatility over a long period of time actually leads to outsized returns. If you want asymmetry, which has largely been kind of orbed out of the market in most other assets, there's no volatility in these other assets. There's no outperformance in these other assets. Bitcoin allows for investors to allocate capital to an investment that they can audit at any time, that they can put billions of dollars into, and it can drive asymmetric returns. And that's what we've seen. This thing has compounded at tens of percent a year for over a decade. Right now, in the last three months, 88% of all Bitcoin in circulation has not moved. In the last year, more than 70% of Bitcoin has not moved. They're gonna approve this ETF, we're gonna to return to loose monetary policy, we're gonna get the halving next year, and this thing is gonna fly just like it did back in 2021. And with that, what is happening, Crypto Crew? Sean's coming back at you, another cryptocurrency video. There's been a lot going on in these markets, so we don't wanna to waste too much time. Let's get straight into it. First update from TA Trader Allen. What do you, we do if we catch the Wyckoff accumulation pattern in the Bitcoin? So look at here. Bitcoin's RSI has been putting in almost a perfect from phase A to phase E Wyckoff accumulation. Look at this chart here. You see that we come up and test the AR, come back down and double top and then fall down going into that phase B. And this is the bot basing out the ST in phase B coming back up and then coming back down, breaking the lower resistance level from this SC back in phase A, and then having this spring up to the upside, stair-stepping our way up, putting in a high, a fall down, and look what happens. We're coming up out of SOS and have this bounce and a continuation to the upside. Is this gonna be major, major, major price appreciation for Bitcoin in the short to midterm? Another update, looking at the first alt, that a lot of people care about. Look what's in the future of ETH. So we're looking at Bitcoin versus the US dollar from 2019 to 2020. This is the bear cycle run up and look what happened. Is ETH leading the charge? Is it gonna be running up? Is it gonna run up to a new high? Are we gonna see a new high? This looks oddly familiar. This could be after the Bitcoin halving and could ETH be going up to that 13.8K just like Bitcoin did here back in 2019's bear cycle. This is a bull. This is a bear cycle, a relief rally within a bear. Looking at some altcoins, your first altcoin, VeChain. So VeChain, if you look at this, this is on the weekly, VeChain versus Bitcoin. We look at Bitcoin comparatives, that's what we care about. So look, we put in a low, a high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. And look, we came back down and double bottomed. We double bottomed with this low right here, back in February of 2021. So the bottom could be in, and when VeChain bottoms out, it doesn't take long to make that move up. Look how much time has passed as far as every time a bottom happens from when a run-up happens. Look here, this was roughly a three-month window. Then a bottom occurred here, roughly a 120-day, four-month window. Bottom occurred here in 2020, and then roughly a about almost another four month window and look what happened here this was the bottom we're past all that time phrase but one thing to pay attention to is look at the distance between the 20 and the 200 right now zooming into the price action we can see that we did put in actually a lower low with the, the candle action look at here right now we're still being suppressed down by that 20 we're still being suppressed down by that 20 and the candles actually put in a lower low, but the wicks put in a higher low. So this is an interesting pattern to see what's going on. A lot of alts are blasting off right now. One of those alts is AVAX. And you see here, we put in the highs, we put in lower lows, lower lows, and lower, lower highs, another lower low. But look what happened. We just broke this downwards trend line, and you see, are we going to get a continuation? Are we going to get a run up and then a bump and run pattern and before this takes off well time will tell we gotta look at the total three to see what we anticipate as you see these are the previous peaks this peak is from back in 2017 this is the peak of 2021 this is that double run up from when Bitcoin ran up from 65 to 69 the alt market did too and we've just been melting down look at when we melted down in 2017 we put in one bottom 
two bottom, then a blast off. Right here, you gotta ignore this here. This was the pandemic dump. If this didn't happen, this would probably just have this continuation. Black Swan event. Look at here. We have one bottom, two bottom, then a blast off. Are we gonna get similar price action from what we've seen after the second bottom to this peak? Second bottom to this peak. Is this about to happen? The RSI looks like it is putting in higher highs and higher lows. Definitely looks like bullish price action to me. Another, another update from Bitcoin. Look at Bitcoin since the bottom of 2018. We've been just trading in this channel. Are we going to see a run up to this level here? No, we're getting close to this apex region. This is a bullish pattern. How do we measure this? The cynical target from this level is all the way up to $1 million per Bitcoin. Note that we came into this channel and just trading sideways, one million dollars for Bitcoin. RSI looks bullish, everything looks extremely bullish. And looking at this chart here, and this is from Pac Man, the Bitcoin four year cycle. As you see here in these green boxes, every time we came up and touched these peaks in this first cycle, second cycle, the third cycle only went up halfway. Note this was this sold short? Was this price suppressed? Were we supposed to go up to the $120,000 threshold and then cool off? We didn't make it up that high. But look, if we go halfway up to this, that's a $300,000 Bitcoin. To the peak is a $1 million Bitcoin. How high are we going to go? Will the ETF send Bitcoin to this peak again? Time will definitely tell. One thing you got to be mindful of is the alt market. And right now, this is... The total three minus USDT divided by Bitcoin. This shows you when you should be in alts versus Bitcoin. As you see here, this is when you want to be in Bitcoin. This is when you want to be in alts when you run, when you run up to the upside. So zooming into this previous price action, what do we see? As you see here, we peaked out back here. We put in a low, put in a low, a higher low, a lower, a lower low, a higher low. Look here, even this candle wick and these bottoms were a higher low. And right now, we, at the current time it's recording, we are retesting the lower bound of the 20. Will we get rejected and come back down to have a triple bottom formation? Could we see that? Or could we break this downwards resistance level? We came down and this candle body actually put in a lower low. We're very, very close to this apex region. Are we going to get rejected from this 20 and this downwards resistance line and have a fall down? Is Bitcoin going to take off? Are we going to break this support? That's what we need to see over the next two weeks. This could get very bullish or bearish quickly. So you have to wait and see how this plays out. Right now, we've had some alts blasting off, and this actually did retest up. And this looks very bullish as you have this bullish engulfing green candle, these two bullish engulfing green candles. But... One thing you have to note is that when you fall into this pattern, fell into this pattern, this downwards resistance, and right here, we came into it, it started here, actually hit our head on it and fell off a cliff, hit our head again, fell off a cliff, and are we testing? Are we going to have a breakout? Is this a rounding bottom? Or are we going to have a breakout coming back up towards that 200? Or are we going to... And this is going to be a double bottom pattern. Or it could be falling into this, bounce around, have a continuation to the downside, and see lower price action. And are we going to come back down to these lower levels that we've seen back in 2019 and 2020? Is the Bitcoin ETF going to cause this to spike down? Well, over the next two weeks, we could see Bitcoin make a big move and your ETF approval. Is that what's in the cards? Is this going to make this fall down or are alts going to have a continuation to rally? Time will definitely tell, but this is something that you definitely have to be mindful of. And with that, I'm Sean with the Bitcoin Bros. You guys like this content, go ahead and smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and show us some love. We appreciate the support. With that, that's all I have for you today. And I'm out.